everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek bringing you all sorts of backpacking and hiking gear and every single Monday I do a what in the box video so these are little backpacking and hiking gadgets and gizmos that really don't cost that much money and don't really warrant a full review so this week is actually all about a backpacking chair and no it's not the Helinox or any other chair like that this one comes without poles so stay tuned for this lightweight, super ultra lightweight backpacking chair. Let's go. So this is my box. Okay, right, let me just explain the first thing that happened is at Christmas time, my lovely mum bought me a backpacking chair, which I'll put on my Christmas list, which was this one, which is the Pio Man um, backpacking chair. I absolutely love this chair. It's the most comfortable chair that I've got. It's fairly lightweight. Um, I'll do the weight, have a, have a look at the weight in a second. Um, but this particular chair goes up and it's really good for day trips or it's also good for you know perhaps a, a weekend trip something like that but it's not the sort of thing that I would take with me on a through hike uh, I'm doing the PCT so I'm trying to go as light as, as I possibly can but also I've reached the age where I need to have something to lie back on and I need that bit of support on my back so I couldn't find a chair that had um, you know some sort of support that was really lightweight so these are about, this is about 800 grams, fantastic chair, love it, and I'll put a link to this one in the uh, notes below, but for through hiking, I'm doing the West Highland Way in a few weeks time, uh, and this is just going to be too heavy. So enter what we call a slingback chair, let me show you this, it's awesome. How dinky is this? This is it, this is the slingback chair. Um, it comes in its own little pocket, it actually uh, fills into it itself. And basically um, it goes up with trekking poles. So the trekking poles actually go into the back. There is it. it goes into the back here. I'm going to put it on, uh, put it up outside in the garden so you can actually see it. Um, but I love this and it is super, super comfortable. So yeah, it's called a slingback chair. It's by Mountain Smith. Uh, this is actually what it is. So it's a slingback chair. Um, it goes up with two trekking poles. You do have to adjust your trekking poles to they're a little bit smaller. So you can't have regular size trekking poles. You have to make sure that they've, they've gone smaller. So you do need the collapsible trekking poles. Um, but yeah, you'll see how it looks in a minute. So yeah, love that. That's a slingback chair from a mountain smith. I say I'll put both links uh, below. One of the best things about this as well is it comes with a lifetime guarantee. How cool is that? Right, let's go and put it up in the garden and we'll compare the two chairs. Okay, so let's tell you a little bit about this particular seat. So the whole length of the seat is 40 inches uh, and it is 14 centimeters wide at the widest point. Um, it packs up into its own little pouch right at the end. As you can see, this is the first time I've actually put this together uh, and it is a little bit fiddly. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you've got it, it's, uh, I'm sure there's a knack to it. Uh, it goes in quite easily, so it just plugs into the ground with your poles and you have to hold the back, then you sit down and it's nice and easy. Actually, it's not too bad at all. So I grabbed myself a coffee and then I thought I'll check it and see what it's like. This is it from the side angle. And as you can see, actually, you get into it and it's quite comfortable. Nice and easy on the back. But certainly not as comfortable as this chair. Uh, I do love it, but it's very, very heavy. So what do you think? That's my um, slingback chair from uh, Mountain Smith, and I say, it packs down so small, which would be perfect for me, um, and I think I'll definitely be taking this. Um, I can also couple it with my thin mat, um, which I've also got from the same company, it's ultralightoutdoorgear.com. Again, I'll put the links to that below. 
prices let's have a look at the prices the prices of this particular chair they're very very similar this one was 27.99 um, and the Poem Man one that I've got, which is, I say, a little bit heavier, well, a lot heavier, this was £28. So very, very similar prices, but you can see the difference in size and also the difference in weight as well. Uh, but obviously the other chair is far more superior with regards to comfort. So it depends what's important for you. But I absolutely love it. I just think this is a really cracking idea. I'll try this on the West Highland Way uh, and see how we get on with it and see if I actually use it or if it's something that's just going to stay in my pack and I actually don't use. You never know with these things, do you? But you've got to give them a try. Anyway, that's me signing out for this week. Don't forget to get outside, get inspired, go take a hike when you can, and I'll see you on next week's video. And if you like these videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a little bell notification to tell you that there's a new video just like this. That's me signing out. See you next week. Take care, everyone. Ta-da. Bye-bye.